Do broke guys get women? Do women really chase guys with money? Will you always lose out to the richer, more successful guy? I'm Bobby Rio, and this may be the most important video that I'll record this year because I want to clear up something, something that a lot of guys are really struggling with. So I suggest that you listen to every word of this video. About a year ago, I started putting a, a focus and emphasis on releasing YouTube videos on a weekly basis. I enjoy creating videos like this, uh, but more importantly, the fact that guys can leave comments on my videos allows me to really better understand the, the, the clients that I'm trying to help, right? Uh, it allows me to really see the insecurities, the false beliefs, and the frustrations that the guys that I'm coaching are dealing with. And something that I was not expecting kept coming up in the comments section over and over again. I would create a video detailing a technique or a mindset to help with attracting women. And then, inevitably, at least one or two or three or four or five guys would leave a comment like, all women want is money. Be rich, end of story. I'm broke, so I'm hopeless. Women only want money, things like that, right? And at first I dismissed these comments because I've seen so many broke guys do extremely well with women. And I felt like it was uh, men just making excuses or blaming gold diggers for their lack of success with a certain type of girl. When I turned my, my dating life around 15 years ago, I was broke, right? I was waiting tables. I, I was living on $25,000 a year. So at first I had little sympathy for the guys leaving these comments. But what I failed to properly put into perspective was that I was in my mid twenties at the time. And most of the broke guys that I know who date the really, you know, the really beautiful girls, they're usually under 30. Why am I pointing this out? Because I think money matters as you hit your late 20s and matters more and more as you get older, you hit your 30s, 40s, and 50s, but not in the way you think. Most guys have the false belief that women love money, right? Women do not love money any more than guys love money, any more than I love money or you love money. Here's what women love. And write this down, this is super important. Women love guys who know how to make money. I'll say it again. Women love guys who know how to make money. See, the money's out there, right? There's more than enough money for everyone. So she wants the man who looks at all that money and says, let's go get us some of that, right? She doesn't want the guy who says, we don't need to go after it. We can just scrimp and save and we don't have to take vacations. You know, we don't need nice shit. <laughs> like she doesn't want that guy, right? She wants the man with the confidence, the ambition and the drive to look at all that money out there, all that money floating around and say, I'm taking some of that. What do I have to do to get me some of that? I deserve it, we deserve that. We deserve nice shit. Not the guy who hides in the corner and lets everyone else grab it, you know, while he cowers in the corner. There's more money floating around than you can possibly imagine and a woman wants a man who's not afraid to go after it, just like she wants a man who's not afraid to go after her, right? It's what it says about you that she wants. In life, there are certain man skills that every guy should master. And money is one of them. Money is one of these skills. At the end of every email that I send to my subscribers, I have a tagline and that tagline is make it happen. And that tagline is to remind my subscribers and to remind myself to be the type of man who makes it happen. Some guys make it happen. Some guys make excuses. And here is some tough love. Uh, here's some tough love for you. If you're over 30 and you have no direction in your financial life, you are giving off a vibe that says, I do not make things happen. Do you need to be rich? No. But if you're working a job that limits your financial ceiling and you're content with that fact, then that will turn a woman off. Back when I was waiting tables, I was never content, right? I was reading books on real estate. I was studying investing in my spare time. I was building a business and I knew with certainty that I was going to make it happen. And because of that, being broke never really hurt me with women. 
In fact, at 29 years old, actually into my 30s, I was broke. But at 29, I moved in with a girl. Who, she had to buy all the furniture for our apartment because she was the only one with money. She was making way more money than I was. She had to put the security deposit down. But, and this is a big but, I wasn't lying on the couch playing video games or, or watching office reruns on Netflix. While she was buying the furniture, I was building a business that would eventually take me from making $20,000 a year to $20,000 a week in just a few short years. You don't need to be a millionaire, but you've got to be what I refer to as a financial adult. After realizing that, uh, you know, so many of my, my, my clients, especially some of my older clients, were struggling so badly with money, I recorded a video outlining the big lessons that I learned towards making and investing money. In fact, the lesson that I reveal in this short video led me to go from flat broke to a millionaire in just a few years. I'm not saying this to, to try to impress you, right? I'm, uh, I'm saying it because I want to... I want you to really understand the power of what I share in this short video. The video is on my YouTube channel. It's completely free to watch and it's titled the number one lesson about money you will ever learn. And I put a link directly to it in the description of this video to make it easy so you have no excuses, right? Um, some of my students who've already watched this video were shocked uh, to hear the amount of money that I've made over the past 10 years. And honestly, I've hesitated to talk about this openly partly because for a long time I held a deep-seated belief that rich people are bad or that chasing money makes you bad. And that belief made me somewhat embarrassed about what I've created and made me refrain from ever talking about it publicly. But above everything else, right now I consider myself a teacher. And this might be the most important lesson you will ever learn, the most important lesson that I can ever teach. And I. I began my journey towards becoming a financial adult 15 years ago, but it wasn't until I discovered the lesson in this video that everything changed for me in a matter of months. So the video is called the number one lesson about money you will ever learn. You can find it on my YouTube channel or there's a direct link to it below to make it really easy for you. I suggest watching this video as many times as you need to watch it so that the big lesson sinks in. And more importantly, so that you put the lesson into action in your life. This is the money lesson that changed my life and I wanna share it with you. I hope it changes yours. Uh, make it happen, right?